So you hate practicing but love jamming? This is exactly what you, you should be doing all the time. got the point the idea is that you uh, decide one two three well max four uh, different exercises or maybe the patterns like we just did uh, the previous four weeks and then you practice them over a uh, jam track a great starting point is something very simple like uh, what I just used here it's just all everything in D major so uh, I only thing that I need to do is to kind of uh, figure out how to practice these patterns that I've just learned, how to, uh, you know, figure out that they're, where I can pull them out. But as soon as I, you're ready to play them, put the backing track on and just to practice, I mean, uh, repeat. <laughs> And if it doesn't come out uh, perfectly the first time, uh, keep coming back to that. So. I like what I did there, I tried... I added this extra note by doing a slide. Ah, after that, maybe the uh, uh, the economy line pattern that we practiced. <laughs> it kind of flows beautifully together. So now once I got that idea, let's just practice that with the backing track. Just uh, don't make it too um, hard for yourself. Uh, keep playing something uh, that you are very familiar with in between the kind of uh, exercise practice uh, patterns. So just uh, make sure it's, uh, try to still make it as musical as possible. You can make this uh, practicing way much uh, enjoyable but at the same time it makes everything so much more it has more impact 
you're uh, now you're committed to a key and a groove and a tempo. So what can you do with these things in this musical scenario and case? Uh, and what if what happens if you uh, put a, another backing track and now you're facing a shuffle groove? Can you do that? That legato thing in a shuffle uh, groove, it's a it's way uh, different thing than playing it straight. But the idea is to turn your jamming into something very motivated and very effective. Um, I hope you enjoyed this idea and hope you actually, if you're not doing this already, uh, give this uh, approach a chance. It can be very effective and very entertaining. Wax on. And one more thing. I almost forgot to advertise that if you need private lessons, help with um, uh, managing the fretboard or uh, techniques, giving you hard time or improvisation is something that is a little bit mystery or the mystical modes or scales, chords. Um, just get in touch with me. Uh, you can find uh, the online lessons from my my shop or uh, you can just uh, write me a message uh, via Instagram or Facebook. Uh, we'll take it from there. Again, thanks for watching and uh, leave a comment.